The Aval organization is something of a legend. Long ago, the king of a knightly order took up the spirit sword to confront the wielder of the cursed sword. Lurking in history's shadows, the secret society has persisted through the ages. Their mission has been to find the lost spirit sword and bestow it upon their future king, while preventing those that they called outsiders from wreaking havoc upon the world. Gro, a young man blessed with a cool head and magnificent fighting skills, became leader of the organization's punitive force. They sent him on a mission to hunt down and kill the Reeker of Chaos, the Azure Knight. However, his entire force was destroyed, and he was dealt a nearly mortal wound. You are so fragile, so weak. Damn you, outsider! Submit your soul to me! Never! You have not defeated me yet! Uh... Am I... dead? dead. Kill anyone, anyone still alive. Uh, uh, my soul! Uh, it is being taken over! Hmm. He's being consumed by an evil force. There is no use in letting him live as a hideous monster. Perhaps I could kill two birds by having him fight that outsider I already experimented on. He's being held around front. to return to your senses. Dear Gro, you fascinate me! I was battling the Azure Knight. And you failed. Without my aid, you would be dead now. What of the Azure Knight? I could not defeat him. It took my all simply to bring you back with me. He's a malevolent king and wields the cursed sword. It would not have ended well for me. Blast! Could we assemble a new punitive force? You wish to challenge him again? So loyal to the organization and the cause! The extermination of outsiders indeed! Sacrificing everything, even your life, to achieve the organization's objective! Is it because of the hatred you bear for the outsiders? Those fiends who took your family, friends, and home? They are evil. All outsiders must perish. The deaths of my brothers shall not be in vain. Of course! How could it be otherwise? That's who you are! And so you must be cursed by fate! Oh, the tragedy! The drama is palpable! What do you mean? 
My arm! Have you not realized what has become of you yet? No, it cannot be. It can and it is. Your body is now partly infected by the power of the outsiders you so despise. But tell me, how does it feel having within you the very same power that robbed you of all you hold dear? Me, an outsider? Such despair, yet such hatred too. But fear not. If you had lost your senses and been consumed by the monster within, I'd have disposed of you. But that did not happen. You are not the fiend you think you are. You are still human. For now. <sighs> you wish to die though your life was saved? Well, that certainly aligns with the organization's belief of eradicating outsiders, those who've rejected humanity, and as such, you should die. But why not see this as an opportunity? The great power you've gained will aid your mission to fulfill that belief. You think I should use this power? Though it is a sin even for me to be alive? What foolishness. Such an act would betray the very organization I serve. But you could use that power to give you the strength you need to defeat the Azure Knight. Is that not so? What is this? A gift. When mending your armor, I modified it to help suppress the evil within you. It should ease your burden at least a little. Of course, in the end, what you decide to do is up to you. But fear not. I shall not report anything to the organization. You have done too much for me. Not at all. I love humans, especially ones such as yourself who are tossed about by emotion and reason. alive. Curtis, what do you want? How can you be so cold to a friend coming to check on your well-being? It hardly seems someone in your position would come simply for that. Though I number among the Twelve, the organization's supreme decision-making body, I can still make time to visit an old friend. Just tell me what you want. <laughs> your impatience is unbecoming. Still, you're as shrewd as ever. I have a new mission for you. To defeat the Azure Knight? Unfortunately, a different one of the Twelve is in charge of that particular matter. Even you, the strongest of the Twelve, were unable to defeat the Azure Knight. We need to try other means than brute force. Since I failed my mission, I assume my seat was forfeit. While some among the Twelve wish it to be so, this mission is designed to convince them otherwise. In other words, this is a chance to rise from the ashes. I shall accompany you as an observer. Any mission to subdue outsiders, I shall do. I care not for my seat in the Twelve. Come now. I wish to lead you together with the organization. It's a selfish wish, admittedly. But you must assist me. Stubborn as ever. Well, some have always been too stubborn to respond to anything but greater stubbornness. Do as you please. That I shall. And accordingly, before I reveal more of the mission, I want to make sure you have not gone soft. Let us step outside. Nothing! Special attack! 
Careful now. I see your time in recovery did not rid you of your mercilessness. Do you wish me dead? Forgive me. That voice. It is the same evil voice from before. My fate is sealed. Fear not. You are not back to your formal self yet. How is the wound from the Azure Knight? Though not fully healed, it will not interfere with my mission. Is that so? Always trying to put on a brave front. Well, I concede defeat. Your wound must not be so serious after all. Are you done? Yes. Sorry it took so long. And what is the Intelligence Chief doing here? I would expect you to have better things to do as one of the Twelve. Grow. Do not speak to our Master in such a tone. No matter. It is true I am free enough to see my two pupils. Moreover, I have information about the mission. Then say what you have to say, and be quick about it. Very well, I shall be brief. We have located a branch of the ancient outsider group, Fiegel Sestimus. Grow, you will initiate a surprise attack, and destroy the outsiders quickly. That is all. Understood. No mission I have ever accompanied you on goes smoothly. Indeed, the trouble you find yourself in goes beyond bad luck. Hopefully, this time will be different. can't escape me! In a matter of days, there have been floods, landslides, earthquakes, forest fires, and now merchants assailed by bandits. It's a perfect storm of trouble. You really were born under an unlucky star. What should we do? We're on a mission. Should we simply move on? Scum who prey on the weak are simply that. But they are not mindless outsiders. They're beyond our jurisdiction. Still, I assume no matter what I say, you will still try to help, no? If so, let us make it quick. You wish to use me as an excuse? How unfair. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, take this as thanks. We need no thanks. Just go. C certainly We have wasted enough time. Let us move on. Wait. Before we proceed, I must clear something up. What is it? When I fought you, something bothered me. 
and seeing you fight those bandits confirmed my suspicions. Your arm. What are you hiding? I heard that Aswell saved you. What did he do to you? He simply healed my arm. You know how skilled he is with such things. Indeed. However, is there not more to it than that? You're either trying to protect your arm or you fear something about it. Aswell created that armor too, did he not? He did. It is simply that my arm still hurts from the Azure Knight. There is nothing to fear. This is my opinion and nothing more. But I can tell you, because I trust you. Aswell is as qualified to number among the Twelve as you and I, but he is dangerous. Joining the Twelve requires the approval of more than half its members. You and I were both recommended by the Masters before being approved. It was the same with Aswell, but he has no loyalty to the Organization. Of course, the Organization has its factions. There are Radicals such as you who wish to exterminate outsiders above all else, and there is the Old Guard who consider coexistence an option. Still, all are loyal to the organization. All except Aswell. He acts with his own motives, and I believe it is only a matter of time before he revolts. Knowing him, it is certainly possible. Aswell seems to have taken an interest in you. If he is using you to fulfill some purpose, he could have done something to your arm. Indeed. Even if that is so, what reason would there be to give me such abominable power? Do not worry yourself. I have no recollection of him doing anything untoward. My wound simply hurts. Is that the absolute truth? Ever have you been cursed with bad luck and the propensity to get mixed up in trouble? I am concerned. That is all. Do not be. It is the truth. I see. Then I am relieved. Intelligence was right. Souls are being sacrificed to obtain the power of an evil god. These fiends have lost their humanity and become outsiders. Who the hell are you? Do you dare to interfere with Kumpeku's plans? I waste not my breath on outsiders. Die. No! Bring out the knight! Hurry! What? What on earth? Behold our ultimate creation, an undead soldier born of necromancy. It took countless sacrifices, but the Soul Edge Fragment finally granted us success! Soul Edge Fragment? The Cursed Sword? Oh. 